Today, I'm putting the Virag HW100 up against the Reximex Pretensis. It's Turkey versus Germany. Who's going to come out on top? So first, as usual, we're going to start with the chronograph test, followed by the accuracy test. So let's see how much power these rifles have got coming straight out of the box. So with that test complete, I was using JSB Stratton 15.89 grain pellets. I tested the Virac first, which came out with an average of 11.66 foot-pounds. The Reximex came out with an average of 10.54 foot-pounds. I did a string of 12 pellets on each rifle, even though the Virac mag holds 14 rounds. To keep it fair, seeing as the Reximex mag only holds 12, I did 12 with each rifle. So that is definitely one point to Germany. So, test number two. We're going to start with the Virag HW100. I've got the target set out at 30 yards. I'll then test the Reximex at 30 yards, then we'll move out to 50 yards, and I'll repeat the same test. Today, I'm only going to do five shots per target, per rifle, and this is a test of grouping. And I'm going to try and let the BOG death grip tripod do most of the work for me. So I'm going to try and take myself as much out of the equation as possible. So let's give it a go. So now it's the Reximex's turn. Let's see what you've got for us. Right, that's both rifles at 30 yards, so I will show you those results and then we'll move out to 50. Well, it would seem at 30 yards they performed almost exactly the same. So, first up we had the Virac, show you the grouping on there. Next up, the Reximex, and put them side by side they are almost identical results so I've still got the Reximex sat on the tripod with the trigger cam on so it only makes sense that I test that one first at 50 yards rather than having to undo everything so I'm going to run the test again at 50 yards 
and let's see if the results are similar. The wind's picked up a little bit, but we'll just have to put up with that. Let's do it now. So let's go 50 yards with the Reximex. Just for clarity, I'm using RWS Hobbies for this test because they're a flat-headed pellet and it means I can get a, a, a nice clean cut through the paper. Here we go now, final test, the Virac at 50 yards. Let's go. Right, let's top the scores up. So completely impartial, unbiased, it doesn't matter to me which rifle wins over the other. This is purely for your entertainment only. So let's start with the Virac. Here was grouping of four and a flyer over to the right. Like I say, the wind's been going up and down, so it could very well have been the wind. And then onto the Reximex, here we are. Group of three, the first one I believe dropped down here, and then again a flyer off to the right. So they're actually quite consistent in the patterns. However, considering the grouping on the Reximex, I think I've got to give a point to Turkey there. So, as always, we end with which rifle should you buy? I've tested both of these rifles straight out of the box as they come. That's why I've tested the Virac with a sound mod on, because it comes with one, and I've tested the Reximex without one, because it doesn't. Now, the Virac was more powerful across the chronograph. The Reximex and the Virac were both similar in accuracy at 30 yards. At 50 yards, I do have to give the edge to the Reximex. Although, like I say, the wind is up and down. Now, as for build quality, the Virac wins by a country mile. The trigger is smoother and crisper. The side lever is a lot more enjoyable to pull back and forward. The magazine is easy to load. You cannot get it wrong. A lot of the manufacturers now, you've got to turn the cover all the way, put a pellet in, move it back, like you do with the Rexamex and the Krals, which are easy once you get used to them. But the system on the Virac, if you've loaded your rifle and you forget that you've loaded it and you cock it again, the magazine will not rotate. So there's a couple of better engineering points with the Virac than with the Rexamex, but you're going to expect that between Turkish engineering and German engineering but they both did perform very well. They're both similar in length, sporting style rifles. They are quite far apart in price, almost double, depending on which model variant you go for in the Reximex. They do the Reximex in a synthetic 
a walnut and a laminate blue and orange obviously this is the orange one the synthetics start at about 500 and they run all the way up to 645 if you go for a laminate the Virac in this sporting stock is 1150 so you would have to decipher whether that extra money is worth the extra quality that you get with the Virac. Until next time, see you later.